Hey guys, Greg here, and today we're going to show you how you can make some adjustments in the app settings to further customize the iNitro test to suit the needs of you and your patients. First of all, to access the app settings, we open up the Netra app, select the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner, and select app settings. Now you'll notice the screen is broken up into three major sections at the top. We can make some adjustments to how our results are displayed. Uh, in the center there, we can change the language of the application for both you and the patient. And on the bottom, we can make some changes to the refractive test itself. So again, at the top, we can make some adjustments to how our results are displayed. You can choose the standard spherical cylindrical notation or a simpler output with just the spherical equivalent. This can be great if you're offering a smaller selection of glasses powers without an astigmatic correction, for example. You can choose between the plus cylinder and minus cylinder notations. In the US, for instance, ophthalmologists tend to use plus cylinder while optometrists tend to prefer minus. And the last option is for the acuity tests. You can choose to input in either feet or meters. So you can choose the standard 2020 or six over six notations. In the middle, under language, we can select the desired language settings. Here you can choose between the language of the app, which is the technician's native language, and the language of the patient if they differ. And on the bottom third, we can make some changes to the refractive test itself. So, fogging numbers, fogging numbers. This feature turns on an additional fogging procedure to mitigate patient accommodation. By selecting yes, the patient will see a randomly generated blue number receding into the background following each click. This is meant to relax the patient's eyes between clicks. If you're seeing patients with strong accommodation issues like kids or teenagers, for example, you can turn on this feature to mitigate its effect on the results. Training angles. This feature will add an additional two repetitions to the beginning of the test, which will not count towards the patient's final result. Training angles can be helpful as an additional training aid, especially if the patient requires additional instruction following the tutorial. When you activate this option, the two training angles are followed by a big blue play symbol right in the center of the screen to indicate when the training is over. The patient must simply click the selection button one more time to actually begin the test. Training angles can also be helpful with the addition of a screen mirroring device, such as a Google Chromecast or any one of the screen mirroring apps that are available on the Google Play Store that would pair a phone screen to a tablet, for example. If you mirror the iNetra phone screen to a TV or display, for example, the, you can then turn on the training angles, clip in the phone, and have the patients perform the first two training angle practice repetitions using the device controls and looking at the TV display. In this way, the technician can ensure that the patient has a solid understanding and grasp of the device controls. After completing the training angles, they must go inside to complete the refractive test. Rounding to. This feature allows you to change how your autorefractor results are displayed. Netra rounds to the nearest quarter diopter, 0.25D. However, you can disable this function by selecting 0.01. This feature can be great if you want a higher level of precision to do the rounding yourself, or if you were trying to diagnose very small levels of astigmatism under a half a diopter, for example, or if you're running a side-by-side -side experiment with the device. And lastly, at the bottom, we have repetitions. Repetition. Now, if you don't have this feature just yet, you may need to update your app. Just go into the Play Store, search iNetra, and then click on the Netra app, click update. It takes about 30 seconds. With this feature, you can now choose between the standard 18 or the new 34 repetitions option. By selecting the 34 reps, the patient will perform 34 repetitions instead of the standard 18. The added measurements mean an increase in reliability and thus precision of the device. This mode usually takes about 50% longer than the standard 18 repetitions. However, if time is less of a factor, the 34 repetition mode can really improve the reliability and stability of your Netra results. That's it for today. If you guys like our videos, you can always click below and subscribe to the iNetra YouTube channel. And if you ever have any questions that we can answer here on the videos, you can always send us a message at training at iNetra.com. So from all of us here at iNetra, thanks for watching today and see well.